Hi, I'm Evan Palmer, and it's time for some Swedish pronunciation training. Hi, and welcome to my classroom. This is the 14th lesson in my video series on how to speak Swedish like a native Swede. Now, this is free Swedish pronunciation training. In this lesson, I want us to practice this Swedish sound, the long ah sound, so that by the end of the lesson, you can name and describe this sound. More importantly, you'll be able to produce the long ah sound. Before we start practicing, I want to give you a little info on this sound. We produce all vowels through the mouth and they are voiced. That means you need to vibrate your vocal cords to make the sound. The A ah sound is a vowel sound and we call it the near open front unrounded vowel. This name tells us how we physically want to make this sound. Its vowel height is near open, which means you position your tongue similarly to an open vowel, like ah. But the tongue is a little bit more constricted when you say ah. That is, when you say ah, your tongue is slightly higher than when you say ah. Its vowel backness is front. And that means you position your tongue as far forward as possible in your mouth without creating a constriction, which would be classified as a consonant. It is unrounded, which means you're not allowed to round your lips. Let's compare the ah uh, sound and the ah uh, sound, because they are similar but not the same. So you are right. Both these sounds sound very similar. So what's the difference, really? Well, it's all a matter of how far you drop your jaw. Because when you say, ah, you drop your jaw, but not that far. But when you say, ah, you need to drop your jaw even further. So that's the difference between these two sounds. Please repeat these two words after me for comparison. Lava. Lasa. Let's do it again. Lava. Lasa. I cannot stress enough how important it is to practice this sound in front of a mirror because you don't want to do like this ah, and you don't want to drop your jaw completely either you don't want to do this ah. it's not that no you drop your jaw quite far like this ah. and that's it so practice this in front of a mirror and record your own voice when you do this exercise so that you can check how you sounded, and when you check how you did the exercise, it's very important to check if you pronounced each word correctly, if you pronounced the ah uh, sound correctly, and you also need to check if you used the right word stress and the right intonation. Before we do the exercise, I just want to tell you that in Swedish, we only find this sound in front of an R. So let's do the exercise. This is how we're gonna do it. Right here, I have 10 words, and I'm gonna read each word out loud. And I'll read each word out loud twice. And all I want you to do is repeat each word after me. That's it. And don't forget to record your own voice while you do it, and practice the sound in front of a mirror. Let's do it. Word number one. Harob. Harob. Ara. Ara. Lara. Lara. Par. Par. 
auktoritär auktoritär bära bära nära nära päron päron kära kära and the last word is är är I'm sure you did a great job and you can practice over and over again. Now, if you study Swedish, I want you to think of one Swedish word which contains this phoneme. And please write down that word in the comment section below this video. Now this lesson has come to an end. That's it for today's class. By now, I'm sure you are able to name, describe, and to produce the ah uh, sound. Just keep in mind that when we compare the ah uh, to the ah, uh, you need to drop your jaw even further when you say ah, uh, so that you don't create the ah uh, sound. Ah, 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 ah. That's the difference. If you found this lesson interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel. Next Tuesday, I'll be back with my next lesson. Till then, I want to say thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, and bye-bye.